Hey everyone, so in the previous video, we've discussed parabolic curves and its key aspects. And I said then, in that previous video, all that's left for us is to solve problems. So in this video, we're going to do just that. Let's dive in. So for our first problem, I have here two roads with grades of positive 4% and negative 2%. They meet at station 10 plus 400 at an elevation of 95.432 meters. To provide easement, a parabolic curve is to be fitted between these two roads. If the maximum allowable rate of change of grade is 0.3% per meter station, determine the following. First, the stationing at PC and at PT. Next, we also have the elevation for PC and PT. Next, the location and elevation of the apex of the curve. And letter D, we have the elevation at a point B on the curve that is 25 meters from PT. Now before we solve, let us first review some key aspects of our fundamentals of surveying. First, stationing. We have here uh, that the grades meet at a station 10 plus 400. Remember that this notation simply means that it is located at a, uh, at a point where it is measured 10 kilometers and 400 meters from a certain point or from a reference point, from a benchmark, all right? And here, we also have to take into consideration that the rate of change of grade given is 0.3% per meter station. What does that mean when we say per meter station? If again we review from our fundamentals of surveying, we know that one station is equivalent to 20 meters, meaning that if we put this value, this 0.3% to our formulas, we have to divide it by 20 because again, it is measured per meter station. So that's for every 20 meters, the rate of change of grade is supposed to be 0.3% or 0.003. All right. So... I guess that's enough of a clarification or a review from our fundamentals of surveying. Let's get to solving this problem right here. So in order for us to solve, again, we need to draw first. Our first job is to actually solve the length. Where are we going to get the length? The length is or the length should come from the formula for our rate of change of grade. All right. So the rate of change of grade, if we can recall from, again, the previous video, we know that R, the rate of change of grade, is equal to G sub 1 minus G sub 2 over L. Now, what is the rate of change of grade? The rate of change of grade is 0.3% per meter station. Please do not forget that part, per meter station. So if we're going to substitute it to our formula, we will have... 0.003, that's 0.3% in decimal form, divided by 20. So that's 3% per meter station. So this must be equal to G1, of course, is uh, positive 4% and G2 is negative 2%. So this is going to be 0.04 minus negative 0.06 divided by L. So as you can see, the only unknown in this equation, of course, is L. So we can solve for the value of our length there. And the value of our length must be equal to 400 meters. So as you can see, it's easy for us to solve because we already know the formula. And uh, as just a review, recall that from your horizontal curves, remember that all we are doing is just using our formula to solve for key aspects of the curves. So this is what we're doing here as well. All right, so we have the length. We can now solve for the stationing at PC and at PT. It's simply the stationing at PI minus L over 2 or the stationing at PI plus L over 2 for both PC and PT. So let's do that. Uh, 
in another sheet right here so we can just write that the stationing at PC all right this must be equal to the stationing at PI minus L over 2 so this must be equal to 10 plus 400 minus 400 over 2 which of course will give us 10 plus 200 stationing at PT this must be equal to the stationing again at the point of intersection plus L over 2 which is equal to 10 plus 400 plus 400 over 2 this is equal of course to 10 plus 600 all right so first part of the question then let me highlight that just so we can uh, signify that those are our answers and also from the previous page we can make it like a checklist and say that this part is done all right so the next part here is the elevation at PC and at PT. Now in order for me to solve for the elevation at PC and at PT, we now need to take into consideration our geometry. So when we take into consideration our geometry, it is always best for us to find and draw our triangles. So the best way for us to do that is to draw this triangle right here. And if we extend this line, we can draw another triangle right there. So I can just shade that just for clarity's sake so that we will see what triangle I'm talking about and say that this line coming from here down to PC, we will call that H sub 1. And the line from here going down is going to be H sub 2. Notice that I can now solve for the elevation at PC and PT. How? Remember that you already have the elevation at PI. It's actually 95.432. So all that's left for me to do, take note this is a horizontal line, meaning the elevation in this point is constant, meaning that the elevation here is also 95.432. And if I want to solve for the elevation at PC, I simply subtract H sub 1. We can solve, of course, the value of h sub 1 later. Also, if we extend again this horizontal line here, notice that if again I know the elevation at pi, I can just subtract h sub 2 and I will get the elevation at pt. Alright, so let's do that. How do we solve for h sub 1? Remember that the grade of this line and the grade of this line is already given to us. It's positive 4% and negative 2%. Which means that if we take into consideration that the grade, again, is just a uh, restatement of the slope. And the slope is, uh, from our basic algebra, rise over run. So, rise over run. And we have our slope there. Remember, we already know this distance. It's L over 2. It's 400 divided by 2. So we can solve for H sub 1. And because we can do that for this triangle, we can also do that for this triangle. We just have to use G sub 2. Alright, so we can solve for H sub 1 and H sub 2 now. Let's do that on our next page here. Again, from our review, we know that G sub 1. The slope is just equal to the rise h sub 1 over the run which is L over 2. Which means that I can solve for my h sub 1 here. This is simply equal to g sub 1 times L over 2. Which is equal to 0 0.04 times the length which is 400 divided by 2. Which will give me a value for h sub 1 which is 8 meters all right so g sub 2 also the same almost the same we just have to change this to h sub 2 here this is still l over 2 and we can say that h sub 2 this is equal to g sub 2 times l divided by 2 which is equal to 0 
times 400 divided by 2. And this is equal to 4 meters. And so therefore, the elevation, alright, at PC, this must be equal to the elevation at PI minus H1. And this is equal to, if we review, the elevation at PI is 95.432. So this is 95, oops, sorry, 95.432 minus 8 meters. Which is going to give me, this is equal to 87.432. This is of course still in meters. And of course, the elevation at PT, this is equal to the elevation at PI, this is minus H sub 2. And so this must be equal to 95.432 minus 4, which will give me 91.432. This is in meters. And we now solve our elevation at PC and at PT. So elevation at PC elevation at pt so we are done with our second job to solve for the elevation at pc and at pt our next job is to locate and find the elevation of the apex and actually that's the easiest one for us to solve because again we already have formulas for that so how do we find the location we find the location by solving for either s sub 1 or s sub 2 just as a review, S sub 1 is S sub 2, remember, is the distance from PC to the apex, that's S sub 1, and S sub 2 is the distance from PT to the apex. So, for simplicity's sake, um, I'm just going to use S sub 1 and say that S sub 1, this is equal to G sub 1 times L divided by G sub 1 minus G sub 2. So this must be equal to, what is G sub 1? G sub 1 is 0 0.04 times length which is 400 meters divided by G sub 1 which is 0 0.04 minus negative 0 0.02. So this must be equal to, this is actually 266.667, this is in meters. Or we can say, therefore, that the apex, the highest point on the parabolic curve, is located 266.667 meters from PC. Now, if we will review our general formula for finding the elevation at any point on the curve is given by E at any point, say for example, letter A, is equal to the elevation at PC. This is uh, plus G sub 1 times X minus R X squared over 2. That's our general formula. Now, you might notice that instead of using elevation here, I'm just using E. This is for my own sake. Uh, imagine writing four letters when I can just write one. So I'm just writing one. I'm just representing elevation by uh, the letter E. All right. So, I think everything is given. What we simply have to do here because we are looking for the elevation at the apex is to substitute x here with s sub 1. And so, we can say that the elevation at the apex now is equal to the elevation at PC which is 87.432. This is plus G sub 1, which is 0 0.04 times X, which is S sub 1 in this case. Alright, so the value is 266.667. This is 266.667. This is minus R. Now remember that R is the rate of change of grade and it has a value for this particular problem of 0.3% again per meter station. So per meter station, that would mean if I'm going to write it here, it's going to be 0 0.003 per meter station. This is multiplied by x again, which in this case is S sub 1. 
this is 266.667 squared divided by 2. And so, the elevation at the apex is a 92.765 meters. And as easy as that, we already have the location and the elevation of the highest point on the curve. Let's highlight that. This is the distance from PC to the highest point. And this is the elevation of our apex. Alright, so we now solve three of the four tasks that we have. So for the last one, we have the elevation at point B on the curve that is 25 meters from PT. Now recall that the length of the curve from here to here is 400 meters. Meaning that if we are measuring from our equation or the general equation for uh, the elevation at any point on the curve, remember that we are measuring that from PC. But the problem gives us a distance coming from PT. So I think it's very easy for us to see that it, if, it, if it is 25 meters from PT and the length is 400 meters, then we simply have to subtract those two values and we will get the distance from PC to this point, which we call point P. All right. All right, so we can just use the formula right here and substitute x to be 400 minus 25 which coincidentally is just 375 and so we can write that the elevation at point b this must be equal to the elevation at pc which is 87.432 this is plus 0.04 times the distance from pc to point b which is 375 minus this is 0. 0, 0, 0.003 divided by 20 times this is 375 squared divided by 2. So the elevation at point B is equal to 91.885. This is in meters. As easy as that. So we can highlight this again. That's 91.885. So that was easy, right? We just have to use our formulas uh, to solve for different uh, aspects of the curve. So just as a review, take note that uh, it is presented here. The rate of change of grade is 0.3% per meter station. This is very important. Most students, when they solve these kinds of problem, they forget that part per meter station. Take note. So they have to divide 20 all the time because uh, if you look at uh, the, the equation right here, if we do not put the 20 there, of course, we will make a mistake in calculating the length. And everything that we solve afterwards uses the length. So if this is wrong, everything that we solve after that would be wrong. So please take care. And as you can see, it's called the maximum allowable rate of change of grade. This is actually a design criteria once we reach uh, highway engineering. So we use that uh, and we take into consideration different things like the size of the vehicle, the maximum uh, allowable speed for vehicles using our roads and many more. All right. So that's it. I'll see you on the next problem.